Hello, nice cup of coffee. Now, as you've seen on the title, or hopefully you've seen on the title, we're doing something that's vegan. Don't switch off because this is slightly different to me. Although it's vegan, it's that. Now, I know the pastry is going to be different, which is where I'll have to be a bit picky to see if it tastes like my normal pastry. But it's a pasty. It's Bombay potato and spinach. So they're not taking something out that should be there and putting something in that shouldn't be there because it's Bombay potato and spinach. So you do get, you do get vegetarian pies or veggie pies, Bombay potatoes. I think we've actually done a video a couple of years ago now where I actually did some Bombay potato pasties. So yeah, it's, it's something that should be in a pasty. So I'm going to whack this in the oven and I'm going to see if, even if you're not vegetarian or not vegan, you might like this. If it all comes down to the pastry. Mmm. See you in a mo. So, all warmed up and no place to go. Let's cut it open and let's see what it looks like inside. Before we do that, let's tell you what it actually says. It says potato and spinach in a spicy chili sauce with tomato, onion and garlic wrapped in light puff pastry. Now the pastry is going to be the thing that we're looking at here because it's vegan. So is it going to be as good as normal pastry? So let's have a look. When I first opened it, I did get a big whiff of garlic from it. So. Smells like Bombay potato, funnily enough. That, there is a lot of filling in there. Look at all that filling. That's a lot of filling. Does smell nice. And I know this sounds silly, but vegan, but it does smell like normal pastry. I don't know if you hear that. It has gone crispy. And it does smell like Bombay potatoes. Mmm. Let's go in then. Potato wise, as you can see, which I'll hold up to the camera. It's not chunks of potato. It's actually like little slices. Hmm. I'm tasting ginger. Definitely getting the ginger. There is other spices there, obviously. It's Bombay potato. The other spices are quite subtle. It's not really strong in the curry flavor. And I did say hot chili sauce, did it? A spicy chili sauce the chili is not coming through a lot so don't worry if you're korma in a curry you'll still be able to eat this because there's not a lot of spice going on heat wise you can always add your own chili sauce on top compulsory on all dishes obviously if you're cutting out salt you can't do this but during one of the jump cuts I added a bit of salt to it because I think it needed just a slight bit more and it's fetched the flavors out a lot more but what do I think? First upload of the new year. Happy new year to everybody. I'm afraid it's getting. It's getting a thumbs up. Definitely. That is nice. I wouldn't mind that. With some mash. Baked beans in my case. Ugh, half of you going. Have a veg. Done for your dinner or your tea. And I wouldn't mind it with some chips. I know it's overload on potatoes because you've got chips and these, but you put them in the air fryer because we've got a new one. It cuts down on the fat again. That, because it's not putting stuff in the... or replacing stuff, should I say, with something that's not as good, it's potatoes and spinach and the spices. And as you all know, Bombay potatoes is a proper vegetable side dish. They've just wrapped it in pastry. So the thing you're wondering then, although it's got a thumbs up, is there a book coming on the pastry? Because it's not what I'll call normal pastry, it's vegan pastry. You wouldn't know. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you'll love it. Even if you're not vegetarian or you're not vegan. If your other half went and bought this and said, we're having Bombay potato and spinach pasty for dinner, you sat there eating it and you hadn't seen the packet and they hadn't told you, 
you wouldn't know that is vegan. Thumbs up. That's really nice. And yes, I will get some more. Don't know the price. I think they're about a pound. I'm going back over. I got this one from Tesco's. I'm going back over Tesco's. I'm going to get some more of these for the freezer. Because I don't know if it's limited edition. It's new. But I don't know if it's limited or not. That is really nice. I was going to say it's a book of pasty. But I can't because that's a different company. It's Ginster's. Bombay potato and spinach pasty. Forget the vegan bit at the top. Unless you're vegan or vegetarian. Then that means a lot to you. If you're not, forget that it says vegan. Just buy it and try it because you'll love it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. All that's missing out of the bag is a bit more salt and maybe a tad of chilli sauce on top. Perfect lunch on its own. Perfect tea, stroke dinner if you're having it with veg or chips. It's nice. Go and try it. Really nice. Thumbs up on that. Hopefully, as always, you'll give us a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you're not. Drop your comments in below. Are you going to try this? Have you tried it? What do you think of it? And don't be put off just because it says vegan. I'm telling you, you'll love it. And you can't tell. And it's not got something in it. It shouldn't have. It's Bombay potatoes, which is a proper Indian side dish. And we'll catch you next time. Cheers for watching.